Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm happy to welcome you to Let's Play The Messenger. This game came out in 2018, and it's a 2D side-scrolling platformer with a retro art style that I have on good authority this time eventually opens up into a Metroidvania-style affair. Uh... I'm also told that this game has a sense of humor, which is definitely not something I personally associate with the era of gaming that this is clearly homaging, so that's going to be interesting to see. But before we get started, I'd like to mention that this is going to be a blind LP. I stepped into the very first area in order to get a reading on the frame rate and audio levels, but other than that, everything we're about to see is going to be new to me. I'm going to play this game for the first time ever, and you guys get to come along for the ride. Here's hoping we all enjoy ourselves. I would also like to give a very special shout-out to my good friend Ronan Drake, who gifted me this game. <laughs> One of the only things I really concretely know about this game is that he thinks it's awesome. And you know what? That's good enough for me. <laughs> if you can't trust your friends, who can you trust? So, thank you, Drake. I'm delighted for the opportunity to experience this for myself. And I hope you enjoy this series. Oh, <laughs> of course it's looping around. Of course it is. Uh. I hope you enjoy this series, Drake, because it's dedicated to you. Now, before it does that again, <coughs> let's play The Messenger. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. Yes, you have to name yourself in this game. You can't use the keyboard, I tried. You have to put it in this way, even if you're using uh, the arrow keys to uh, do this. So what I'm going to call this guy is... Guy Den. <laughs> burning dog face wouldn't fit, and burning dog felt like it sent an entirely different message. Careful what you wish for, my dude. Pressed up and nothing happened, so. Hello, my dudes. Jump, hit, jump. Oh, okay. That didn't work. So I have to hit the thing first, or it doesn't work? Yeah, there's no double jump. You actually have to use the sword. 
Okay. Also, I'm just gonna say it, I can't help but notice that the music already slaps. Uh. Is it me? Oh, it is me. It was vibrating with, you know, youthful defiance. <laughs> oh, that was weird timing. No. Everybody's dead! Well, if the Western hero isn't here, it'll have to be me. Oh, God. How come only that one gets a crown? Marmothazel? Oh, it's a name! I noticed that! Everybody died! Uh, it seems like I'm kind of a lackadaisical bum, but, I mean, sure. Thank you. You got the scroll! It begins. You have been chosen to be the messenger tasked with carrying the scroll across your cursed world. Oh. Uh, let me go check on that guy. Hey, sup? And so you were chosen. Oh, you changed your tune in a hurry. You guys still dead, huh? Great. Just me, then. All right, off I go. Achievement unlocked, enter the ninja. So far, it seems pretty straightforward. Let's see. Achievement unlocked. Enter the ninja. Beat the intro without dying. Huh. You know, when I uh, was testing, I had actually attempted to throw myself into the sea from the end of the dock, and uh, there's an invisible wall there, so I genuinely don't know how I could have died during that intro. All right, here we go. Oh, wait. Oh. Sup? I don't suppose you're a friendly sort. 
Oh, he's really just gonna walk into me. He's one of those enemies in 8-bit games. Oh, all right then, off we go. Surprise, it's a ninja! No one ever expects the uh, ninja inquisition. Ah, oh, why did that one have a light in it? Did the other one have a light in it before I got the gems? I was correct about that. Ah! Wait for the next one. Oh, wait, no, no! I burned my ass. Where'd the other one go? There was another one, like, over here, wasn't there? How did he do that? Is that, like, an invisible wall they were hinting at? Or am I just going crazy? That's also a possibility. I cannot slash down. Those thoughts aren't related, I'm just saying. Oh, I like that. Uh, they didn't need to tell me how to do that because I remember the NES era, and you get through this by hitting down, by holding down, and pressing jump. So far, so good. Oh, God! What fresh hell is this? Hey! That looks like the guy from the... Oh, I'm in the serpent holes! Great! Yeah! That icon right there in the text box, that's the uh, desktop icon for this game. I kind of assumed he was going to be the bad guy, and then this giant th multiple-headed demon showed up, and... Oh, the messenger! I wasn't expecting you so soon! What is this place? This is the shop! It doesn't look like a shop. Do I look like a shopkeeper? Anyways, so I'm this mystic character who will, will be mentoring and supporting you on your epic quest to save the world. All you need to do is take the scroll to the top of a faraway mountain where the three sages from my order will be waiting for you. Your order. Slow down, that was way too much text for one dialogue box. <laughs> Look, just keep going eastwards and make sure you grab all these time shards you see lying around. I can use them to upgrade your abilities and artifacts. First one is on the house. Enjoy. You got the climbing claws. Press against the walls while airborne to stick to them. So, climbing claws? Oh yeah. You can press against walls to cling to them and climb at your leisure. Makes sense, the way everything looks, it just felt like I should be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie with that. Not gonna lie. Motherfucker. I mean, yeah, I did call him Gaiden for a reason. Yeah, that's why John Gaiden invented them decades ago. Who's John Gaiden? Never mind, just an acknowledgement I needed to get out of the way. <laughs> oh, that makes two of us. I don't get it. Some will. So yeah, uh, honestly, until I was told this game had a sense of humor, I was kind of writing it off as an homage to the OG Ninja Gaiden games. But, uh... In addition to being told that this game has a sense of humor, I was told that this game is very much doing its own thing, so, you know, I don't have to worry about that. Not having ever played the original Ninja Gaiden games, and therefore having no real, uh, affinity for them. Seriously, though, where are we? Curious, are we? In time, you'll come to realize that the question is not where, but when. That's it. Listen, I know you're still new to this, but you have to be pretty naive to expect anything other than cryptic information so early in your adventure. Wouldn't you rather go back into the action anyway? Just buy a health upgrade or something and be on your way. Kids these days. I mean, okay. Oh, oh my god, it's got a... 
<laughs> upgrade path. There is a health upgrade here. And I can afford it. Uh, Karuta plates. HP plus one. Concealed arm guards make you more resistant. Awesome. Oh. Okay, sure he can would have been useful, but still. But still. I mean, you know, the guy said that, so I feel comfortable doing that. What's over here? Please don't touch the cabinet. Y'all are so whack. Okay, I'll try this side. But can I sword? Yep. Huh, thought I could, like, go in there or something. Oh, okay. Do not quote the old ways to me, which I was there when they were written. Same reason. Sloppy! I left the screen, after all. Why, well, hello there, uh, uh, conspicuous jug. I did start my timer, right? Yes. on screen. Okay. No idea what that was about. Oh, was that a health pickup? Damn it. I'm just gonna sit here for a second. Thank you! I didn't think that would happen, but alright. Fine, fine. I just kind of assumed that it would be like those Mega Man enemies who fire in a fixed arc. Oh, 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 wait. Forgot about that. Well, you done fucked up now. Ah, okay, that's what that was. I thought that was part of the gate earlier. Swim? Or will I just instantly die if I go down there without the right upgrade? Only one way to find out! <laughs> I can't use my sword down here. I have to keep pressing A to stay up. Yes, that was a healing item. Okay, now I know. What the hell was that? Mash that A button! Get, ooh. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Okay, I didn't notice the path before.
Oh, okay, it would have had to go up there. When I first saw this guy, I thought it was like a Japanese Kappa or something, maybe? I mean, not really. But uh, then I kept seeing other versions of that, so I don't know, man. The whole race of extremely angry turtle men. Sorry about that, I had to sneeze. Oh. Oh. I notice the special ones have less health than the ones that just sort of wander around. And part of the reason I don't associate a sense of humor with the games of this era is because back then they would not have made that distinction. <laughs> I mean, yes, it makes all the sense in the world. Oh, this enemy, you know, has a special attack. Let's not give it as much health as the other ones. No! We will give it more health than the ones that just wander around. And we will give it homing missiles. I'm in here again. My dude! How's it going? Do you have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a servant who didn't know how to read. The day came where his master asked him to read something for her, to which he replied, I'm sorry, my lady, I can't read. That reply immediately got him fired. So he went out in the streets looking for a tea house to relax and accept the bad news. When he couldn't find any, he reckoned he probably wasn't the only one to wish there was a tea house in his small town, so he opened up his own. He really picked up, so he built many more and became rich in the process. One day, his accountant asked him to review a piece of his document, to which he replied he didn't know how to read. The accountant, who couldn't believe his ears, said if he became a millionaire without even knowing how to read, just imagine where you'd be if you could read. Oh, I know exactly where I would be, the rich man replied. I would be a servant. The end. What? I don't see how this applies to my adventure. It doesn't! You asked for a story! <laughs> More like the long version of When Life Gives You Lemons. Alright, since you don't seem to appreciate me sharing some clever material for your next party, I suggest you move along. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Oh, that does seem useful. Uh, oh lord, what am I looking, looking at here? Let's see. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna need a thousand gems for that upgrade, but you know, still... Wait, just <laughs> sleeping and eating habits, okay. Uh, let's go with the projectile attack. Energy Shuriken. Ranged attack. Tap into your mind's key charges, allowing you to throw Energy Shuriken with Y. Okay, I do have an ammo thing up in the corner then. Fair enough. I guess if they're energy, yeah, that does make sense. I'm just checking. Actually, I guess we'll get back out there in the next episode, because the premiere is over. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play The Messenger when we continue our journey. And, uh, throw some shurikens into demon faces. Later.